Okay, welcome on board on uh, today's flight from Stockholm, Arlanda to Landvetter in Göteborg, domestic flight in Sweden. We are on board uh, my trusty Norwegian flight uh, LNDYD and let's just jump straight ahead into the cockpit here and uh, close the door to keep the noise out. As you can see we are currently loading on board some supplies and some fuel. The weather in Stockholm today is a bit uh, mixed with some rain and showers uh, by the looks of it. I uh, haven't checked the latest uh, meta but we shouldn't be having much issues and the weather should be clearing up uh, in Jürgenborg. Today we will be operating a real life route. Um, let's get up our... Um, if we can find it here. And as always it is playing tricks on me. Here we have our flight plan. So today we will be uh, operating uh, flight uh, four North Shuttle 4083 by the looks of it. Uh, real life route from Stockholm to Jürgenborg. As always, uh, my flight rules are that my aircraft is uh, always parked where I la last landed. And uh, the last video we did from Oslo to Stockholm, I uh, haven't gotten around to uploading it yet. And we were supposed to do a multiple leg journey, but uh, unfortunately real life got in the way of that. Um, but we will complete uh, today's flight from Stockholm to Landvete. Um and we are of course as always in VR using the Oculus Rift flying the Zebra mod Boeing 737 in X-Plane 11. I have been tinkering a bit again with uh, my X-Vision presets uh, to further uh, reduce lag spikes but they do occur we have a lot of stuff going on under the hood of this simulator and even though we have a powerful rig to run it, it does uh, tend to have some lag spikes here and there, so we will see. We are online on the WETSIM network. Uh, currently, last I checked, we did not have ATC available and the Vatastic map actually had some uh, issues, so we have found an alternative map. I don't know if uh, it will influence the network itself, but I do not think so, because I did see some traffic around here. We parked at the stand 13 or 15, I can't quite remember, uh, right inside of Bravo Charlie Apron. And we will do a takeoff uh, from, let's see, runway 19 left. Um, and come in from the north and land on runway 21 in Landwetter. Today's flight will be quite short, about 40 45 minutes uh, once we get airborne. And I expect the setup to take around uh, 30 minutes from now. So if you are impatient and just want to see some airtime, you can go ahead and jump forward. Before we get started, I would like to encourage you to like and subscribe the videos to help and grow this channel. So that was the briefing, I think, and uh, we can uh, get started with uh, lighting up uh, our lady here. So Get some ground power on and start aligning. Uh, and today I will actually skip the walk around. Um, yeah, I will skip the walk around. I can uh, inform you that failures are enabled. Why do I do that? Failures are enabled. And um, more so, uh, we have uh, remove flying surfaces. It's an option in Explain that will actually make the aircraft uh, react to uh, excessive G forces on the flaps on the aircraft structure. So uh, we cannot do anything crazy without the aircraft breaking apart. Which is quite realistic. We will try to be and uh, stay in character and make it as realistic as we possibly can in being in a simulator. So now we have got the aircraft uh, started up. Let's just do the flow here. It 
do tend to get a bit distracted once I chat. So let's get some light on. So that's why it's good to have your flows in order. Good. Nothing here. And let's get some light on down here as well. And this is the only button in the simulator that is hard to reach in VR because of the yoke stand I have in front of me. This should be good. Parking brake is set, don't know what's there. Okay, let's start doing some checkups. Checking that the light is coming on and it's off. Leading edge devices are looking good. And these two doesn't work uh, right after startup for some reason, so that is okay. Just the ascent button, it is working. And look at the lights. And it's looking good. And let's just check the lights here. Reset this one here. And let's continue further down here. Now for this uh, recording I have reduced uh, the recording um, frames to 30 frames so in hope that it should match um, simulator's frames so we will get less jittery recording and make it a more pleasant viewing experience. So it's still a work in progress. Adjust vertical speed. Adjust. Climb. Climb now. Climb. Climb now. Climb. Crossing. Climb. Climb. Crossing. Climb. Climb, climb, clear of conflict. Descend, descend, and descend, um, crossing, descend, descend, crossing, descend, descend, descend. Get these guys now. away. Descend, descend now. Increase climb, increase climb, increase descent, increase descent. Maintain vertical speed. Maintain, maintain vertical speed. Crossing, maintain. Monitor vertical speed. TCAS test pass. That is all good. So let's start uh, putting things into our FMC. We are in Stockholm. Echo share share the alpha. And we will find this one here. Here. And we will get Echo share golf golf for Jotunboik Landwetter. I believe it's the second largest city in Sweden. Uh, don't quote me on it, I am not Swedish, although I have a Swedish last name and Swedish roots. Um, I have to go back. A3, 4083. Let's try and remember that in case of some ATC showing up. So oh, our departure were And before we go on, as always, we tend to forget our uh, fuel and uh, zero fuel weight. Um, today's zero fuel weight is uh, 52.4, about 105 passengers, 52. Point, let's say 52.5, and we will take six tons. Fifty-four point five and six tons of fuel. So good. And let's get back to our FMC. Just let us note our uh, reserves, uh, which is these two numbers here. Add it up, so it will be two point five. We will use two point five. Yeah. 
bomb. There we go. Runway one nine left. R A R S Alpha Romeo Zero Four Echo, which is here. On route November six two three. November six two three. To Bedla. And from Bedla we'll go to November 6, 6, 866. And I believe oh, it was Mock Sam. Mock Sam, yes. And it's the Mock Sam 3 Sierra arrival to runway 21. ILS approach and find the Moxam 3 Sierra here. Check for discontinuities, there are none. Looking good, let's activate and head on to our performance. Uh, so the fuel rate is set. So we were agreeing on 2.5, a little bit over the top, but we can afford it fuel wise. And flight level today were. Flight level 340. And we can pop you up here as well. And once we are done with this, we can get rid of the ground handling guys to get it a little bit more quiet. Okay, so let's get our wins. 26913. 26913. And there we just fixed our aligning so that is done. As a deviation 7, 7 plus. And execute. Temperature outside is cold today, 13. We will derate to 24K, just randomly taken without the performance tool. Flaps 5 and V-speed 132, 133 and 1, which can go here. Actually, we must set up for our wets. Archer. Just re verify. And that gave us a bit lower V1, so we have to keep that in mind. Start trim 4.56 units, and that's when we get our usual jump of the reversers once I touch my uh, trim wheel. So we will just pop that down. Here we go, that's about right. And looking good and verified, we will wait on our uh, approach references, but it should be a flap 30 approach. We can just pop it in there for sake of good order and we will revisit it once we get closer. So let's just check the route. Very nice and easy approach, uh, pretty much straight in all the way from Stockholm. So not much to be said there, uh, just check the altitudes and speeds. 42.40. Looking good, yeah. So that is all uh, very good, let's go back to map and we can give you the legs page. Uh, we can go to the root page for now and we can start our boarding. And we can find the airport, get the maps ready. 
We are at uh, 137 feet above sea level, so let's just use our bit of tinkering with this 37 actually but we can do that manually with our come on there we go let's get the latest meta Echo, Sierra, Sierra, Alpha, Airport Information, Foxtrot, 1650, Zulu, Weather, Wind, 213, at 3, Visibility, 10,000, Sky Condition, Few Clouds at 3,000, 500, 5,300, Scattered, Light, Rain, Temperature, 13, Dew Point, 11, QNH, 1007, Advise on Initial Contact, you have information, Foxtrot, 1007, set and on the standby altimeters have it set as well okay so let's get the charts out first for the airport we can do our uh, parking stands departures and the airport departure and we were doing the Ours for Echo, Aros for Echo, which is here. And we can uh, just revisit it. We will take off from one way, one nine left. Do a short left hand turn, then correct yourself up again to a slight right hand turn. And then do a sharp right hand turn outbound towards RAS, which we will tune one one two decimal eight. Here and we can put all under there. So There'll be a bit of uh, tumbling around um, for this departure since we're doing one nine a left. So let's just read up on it. Climb on a runway heading track. Yeah, so we'll try to keep keep track of it up for 3.8 miles then track up so basically we need to go into the 183 here then 16267 sorry And our runway heading would be 185 and 25 degrees of bank. Okay. Set, 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 set. And initial climb clearance would be. 5,000 all set and done so let's check our taxiing we are sitting here at stand 13 um, so we will push back facing west and uh, continue on to taxiway or Yankee and use taxiway Yankee up until taxiway X-ray. Continue on on X-ray and we will go down Whiskey. 
for uh, holding point whiskey 8 where we will enter runway 19 left for a takeoff and we have 2500 meters of runway so that is all good okay and once we get airborne we will do after passing 600 feet we will uh, do a left turn uh, actually we'll follow the flight director Delnav and then we will uh, correct ourselves again and do our turn out towards us so it will not be as jaggedy as here but we will go something like this do a short arch out over this area here we do have some I do believe it's because of some um, issues with terrain here or uh, some structuring so we need to get out around here do this nice arch and continue on to the R's VOR so that is all good and we have all of the and us tuned looking very good so that is the departure and taxi briefing we have some, tra we have some traffic around us somewhere okay let's get um, let's get our swift client into VR so we can keep an eye on any possible um, ATC let's just get it down here check the text see if it is Get it away from you. Yeah, no HTC. Sweden do normally have HTC uh, in weekdays at around this time, but uh, for some reason not today. It's a bit disappointing, but can't win every time. So, let's just check the map to look for any possible traffic uh, issues. Here we go. So here we are in Alanda. There are s a few others, or one other aircraft. One other aircraft sitting up here. Don't know if you can get up any info on him. I don't think so. No. We are sitting here, so we are basically going back here. Going out on Yankee, X-Ray, then Whiskey, Whiskey 8 was it, in here and take off. And then we will be going straight down to Jürgenborg and straight in landing here. We do have some traffic inbound but shouldn't be any issues. Let's just see if the Vatastic map is up and running again. No, it had had has some warning now. Maybe it's been hacked, I don't know. Not to worry, let's just have a look at the weather. As you can see we have some precipitation here, but it will clear up nicely once we get to Jürgenborg. So let's uh, just get this one here up again because I need that for the virtual mouse. And let's begin uh, starting up. Okay. Oh, pre flight oxygen is tested and navigation transfer switch is also normal. Uh, yep. We only have uh, fuel in the wing tanks, so we can fire up the APU. The double can come on. Set. Good. Right here, we'd like to have the airports up. Set to HPA. Error. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. You can come on. And you can come on. And I would like Elnav to guide me. And I would like you to 
go a bit further out. So, zero looking good. Still at correct settings there. And we have squawk 2000, which we should. And we should be monitoring Unicom, which we will do now. So here we are monitoring Unicom. Let's get up the text. There we go. Okay, and let's do the pre start checklist now. Pre flight. Oxygen is tested, navigation and transit to space, which is, is normal and auto. Window heat on, pressurization mode selector is set to auto. Flight instruments uh, heading uh, altimeters are cross checked. Parking brake is set, engine start switches are set to cut off. Okay. And we have the APU ready, so let's get this on. And we are basically ready for a before start checklist. Let me just get seated correctly. Okay. Before start checklist, flight deck doors are closed and locked. Fuel pumps, we have six tons and pumps are on. Passenger signs on, windows are locked, MCP, we have V2142. Uh, heading set to 185 and altitude to 5000 feet initially. Serial pre flight is completed, uh, air rudder and aileron trim is free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing has been completed, and anti collision lights can now come on. So we will commence our push and start and we have already chatted with our pushback guys and they will ground to cockpit always driving up they will position us correctly we have uh, one traffic out there so no one is in our way Can prepare you. Here comes our tuck. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. All good. Still raining. Yeah, so what we will do is uh, monitor uh, our temperature closely and so if we are still in uh, in the clouds, when it hits uh, TAT 10, we will commence uh, or turn on our engine so and release parking brake. Parking brake is released. Starting pushback and you may start engine. Start number two. Let's get some fuel. Start a cutout, start number one.
looks like our neighbor has left the gate. Uh, let's get some fuel in here. Set. Disconnecting cow. Stand by. Full forward, full back, full left center, full right center, full right rudder, full left rudder, flight controls checked and OK. Flaps 5. And let me just get uh, my butt kickies working. If I can. There we go. So now I have some movement in my seat and virtual cockpit around me, so that's nice. You can hear the engines or feel the engines. So let's do that. is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. Hand signal on the right. Bye bye. Before taxi checklist, generators are on, propeat is on and the ice is off. Isolation will is set to auto. Engine start switch is uh, to continuous. Recall is checked. Auto brake set to RTO. Engine start levers idle. Detent. Flight controls checked. And ground equipment is clear. And there's the bypass pin. So let's just get ready for taxi. I do have some slight jittering when I'm moving my head. So I am contemplating if I should be trying to. Just do some um, settings here because I have been playing around with it, so I have set it quite low. I think the graphic card can handle 4S AA. So let's see what will happen. Hopefully, it won't crash. Uh, that definitely didn't help anything. If anything, I should have uh, turned it down, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we can't... We can't fly like this. So there's, there's no way. So we'll just go in here. And we will pop it way down here to see what happens then. Yeah, much smoother. So let's try that for a change. So taxi lights on. Um, put some more lights on and we can start rolling. comes 
uh, Yankee, I believe. I have been, uh, the main reason I've been playing around a lot with, uh, with the settings lately is because I can fly basically anywhere, but I do have uh, all Orbex uh, scenery for all of Great Britain and I would love to fly more to Great Britain. Uh, fortunately, the Orbex scenery is just a few percent too much uh, for, um, for my current uh, setup to handle without the uh, lag that is so annoying that it causes issues, especially if you have ATC. So I have been just trying to tinker it just to get things a tad lower down um, in order to, uh, for me to fly it into Great Britain. Here we have a Swiss Air coming in. Here we have an X-ray coming up. Take the weather radar and you can take the terrain radar. Let's see if anything interesting is in our way. And he is uh, also taxing nicely on this Hulu as he should be. It's good to see. Airbus A319, possibly the Tolis. Just need to turn down the butt kick a little bit. Yes, we can be. So soon we should be looking for whiskey. Whiskey here, so let's take this. It can be confusing because it can look like uh, a taxiway into some servicing area, but just tucked in between these buildings here. Looks to have cleared, so we can. I 
actually we can just take the latest Echo Sierra Sierra Alpha Airport Information India 1720 Zulu Weather Wind 173 at 4 Visibility 10000 Sky Clear Temperature 12 Dew Point 12 QNH 1007 Advice on initial contact you have information in So no rain on departure so suddenly clearing up it's all good and here is whiskey 8 so uh, flight attendants please be seated for uh, departure we can put a logo on because it's getting dark Looking at looking for one eight five eight four on runway one nine left. There we go. Looks very really good. So let's get our departure chart and start a timer. Push up to forty percent. Stable and set takeoff thrust. Six hundred, so here's our turn. One thousand. Bit lively. Yeah. On. We can engage me now. And let's see. That's gonna go. Clear to one five zero. Command day is engaged. Starts with just off, 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 and after takeoff checklist, the engine bleeds are on, uh, packs on auto, landing gear is up and off, flaps up, no light, after takeoff checklist is completed, set standard. Heading to two six five shortly. We have Sweden, Stockholm in here. We 
release the cabin crew. There's all in the airport. And runway one nine left. Climbing nicely, performing nicely. And there's ten thousand feet. And let's clear us to 34,000. A little bit of fog today. Two seven nine. Very calm evening. And everything is looking good. So what we can do is start um, closing down some of these here maps since um, we're done with Stockholm, hopefully. Oops. Land weather is at 500 feet, so we can put that in our landing altitude. And by now we can release the passengers as well and welcome them on board. I should really start uh, making my own PA, shouldn't I? Being a realism fan. So, first our arrival. Was the Moxham 3 Sierra arrival? There he is. Then we need our approach. There's a lag spike. From auto for XP loading, I guess. There we go. Um, approach. Oh, there's 21. And we have land weather at 1146. And we'll put him in there as soon as we pass uh, Alfa Romeo Sierra. Aros. Ah, passenger Escobar.
We're very delighted to have passenger Escobar on board, of course, on this uh, short domestic Swedish flight. So our minimums was, we remember, we were put in 706, so I will use my VR mouse. That's close enough, we can do the rest. Six, there we go. Sweden passing by beneath us. Here we are on our departure, heading for Aros. Get a map up, get some Parts of the Swedish Sjärgård passing beneath us and Westeros on uh, the first officer's side. And soon we will start turning uh, southwest towards Jordaboik. That will happen at Betla. Pressurization is looking good. Let's just do a scan. I get the seat back. It makes it easier to have a look. The temperature in the cabin is also looking perfect. Well, here we start turning ever so slightly. Okay, looking good here as well. Still monitoring Unicom. No A to C by the looks of it. Nope. Let's. Uh, text chat up again. Here we go. I love flying in VR. There's nothing like it. So, uh, soon we'll begin our turn. Betla, here we go. Two, two nine. And we can start looking for Landwetter. Here we go, Landwetter. Tracking nicely. So we'll start turning down here and come in for a perfect straight in approach. Passing 30,000 very shortly. Put in two or three. And we have 1085 for the ILS. Now that is a deadly sin of doing it, you will say, in your mind you will say 1085 and you will do like this, and it's a very, very dumb mistake to do, so 1850, you say. Checked and we double check and it matches. Here we go, one, two, nine, we pass 
30,000 so we can pop this down. What do we have here? Uh, got them on. Nothing that concerns us. And we can get the taxi map as well. It's a very small airport, one of my favorites. For some reason there's nothing interesting going on. I just really, really like Land of Eden. So, here we go, we will come in here. And most likely we'll exit at Charlie, uh, if not Delta. And we'll go back and find a stand somewhere here. Nothing to get confused about actually. Uh, get the parking stands up as well. Oops. Here we go, taxiing after landing. Thousand to go. It's checked. So at our cruise. Let's just do a short read up on our approach here. A little bit of turbulence there, I think. Not much. Just settling in on our cruise. Yeah. So. Drive straight ahead to 3000 and expect radar vectoring. Let's use the last comes. Turn right, proceed to turn V. I don't have turn me on the maps I have up here, so. But we will go straight ahead. Basically, and then we'll turn right at uh, 3,000 feet and go back for a new approach. That's what we'll do. So we'll do, uh, do like this. Just nice to have the number in a stressed situation. So for a missed approach, we'll go to 3,000 feet, straight ahead, and once we re reach 3,000, we will. Use flap 5 and uh, slow speed turn, turn back around and do a new approach, basically. And if that messes up, we will go to Copenhagen. So, that's basically it. So we are 40 miles out from our top of descent. And we have 144 track miles. And that uh, correlates to 100 and 13, 135. No, that correlates to. Um, I hate my odd numbers. That correlates to 115. So at one. Yeah, it was a bit late uh, top of the descent, but uh, yeah, we might uh, initiate initiate the descent a bit earlier. But we do have a headwind component to uh, to account for. So um, what we could do is uh, put in our uh, our forecast. We would do So we would take uh, 29153 27419 And 
six, seven, eighteen. Also do is uh, for some situational awareness. Just want to get a view from a different perspective while we can before we start considering our descent in 20 nautical miles. Let me just get out of my seat here. basically pop you off. Can we do that? Yeah. It's a nice view from here. Sitting down in the jump seat. passing by below us into some bit of clouds here but not anything with water in it so we do actually have a bit of movement not much just a little bit of Like this details, crisp and sharp, and yeah, it's really good looking. One last view from the jump seat. Let's get back into the chair. In a short while, our we will get a message on the FMC that we will need to reset our altitude. Uh, there it comes. And we are basically... down to flight level 150 and here comes the descent okay let's just have a last look on our traditional map we are about halfway our journey now we will start descending slowly towards Jedebor. Basically slightly off our runway heading so it's just nice glide down. And I think actually just to Huh? 
So I'll Arland that just came online by the looks of it. Echo Sierra Golf Romeo Airport information. So Oops, bit big for my <laughs> So let's just uh, have a look here. Yeah, we only got what it looks like they're getting ready to go online. We have Stockholm. Uh, there we have them. There we have Copenhagen, actually. Oh, they went off. It's a bit weird. But what we can do is uh, try to find the um, find the um, Q and H for our destination. Shut you down. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have started our descent into Jotunborg Landeweide. We will uh, pop on our seatbelt signs in uh, about five minutes' time. Thank you for flying no with us, Norwegian, to stay and hope to see you back soon again. Would be the PA. So, here we have it. QH. Uh, 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 let's just try and update it. Just absolutely sure. Yeah, I know you want some drag, but I don't need the drag right now, actually. I think we're looking quite good. And let's see if we can do something like this. Yeah. Very quiet and calm. Let's just see if we can get the fantastic map up or if it's still. Nope. Still giving me issues. But here we are and we have no traffic. Maybe this guy here? I don't think so. So we will just assume that we will be going in without A to C. So one on set. And ask the passengers nicely to sit down. Get our... Here we are coming into Moxham. Uh, oh, how I wish that the night lighting would be improved in x 11, so that we could have it just for as long. Really ruins the immersion that you have lights like this, not loading all the way. Basically, night lighting in x 11 is only good looking from below 5,000 feet, if you ask me. Anything about that, I pray for overcast. Which is a shame. Uh, nothing on Unicom. So I'll soon be doing our turn here. And 63 track miles to go. There's our turn to 11. And what we can do also is 
pop you up where you belong. And as you can see, we are basically just slowly going in. There we lost Arlander, and we have 60. Give me 60. So actually, the, I think it's done updating. Could be mistaken, but it should be a pretty cloudless night, so... We get Venon, a great lake in Sweden we have over here. And some sporadic road lighting. And we are about 10 to 15 minutes out. Thousand ago. And we will clear ourselves to 8,000 feet. Actually, Weednav is doing a very, very good job uh, keeping us right where we should be. Basically, we will. Yeah, we are bang on, bang on. But we can start reducing our speed uh, shortly. So, um, what we can do actually is take manual control, increase our speed. You usually get a. Uh, 90% of the time you are allowed uh, to do high speed approaches in Land Weather, so that is what we will do. So we will speed up a little bit. Maybe a bit hefty on the speed, but that just borders a thousand feet, which is perfect. So we can soon commence our pre cruise check. Landing altitude is set, and we will just go and have a look at our approach. So it's 43, now we are at 140. So, 145. Uh, landing altitude is 500 feet, we have our reference speed set. Recall is checked. And we can turn our lights on. And we will have auto brake two today. This is pressure station landing altitude set. Recall is checked. Auto brake is two. Thousand ago. Landing data reef set, and we have briefed the approach. This set checklist complete. And we will clear us down to five thousand. And we will refresh our missed approach, which was three thousand feet. Straight ahead and then a right hand turn going heading zero to three. Traffic on Swedish roads passing by us. And 
What's this? Five thousand on our transition altitude. Yeah, we're looking really good here. So, I'd like to have you here. So we need to go to one forty. We are already there. Uh, we are just a tad high, but nothing serious. Nothing that we now cannot handle, and no news. But a beautiful evening. Sun setting. What I will actually might do is uh, for you guys to um, park the aircraft in uh, turnaround mode, uh, leave her on, and uh, do a flight back home to Oslo from Jødeborg. Uh, I don't know how that sounds, but uh, we could do it in three hours time from now and then it will be a nighttime flight and I can uh, show you some of the disadvantages other than uh, light popping into existence like here. But uh, some of the drawbacks with the new o OLED screens that uh, gives us this uh, grayish, uh, there's the airport lighting up. Um, I might do that. We'll see. And we'll clear ourselves to send it to f five. And some discrepancies in the author for XP there. Soon we'll get another pop of lights, street lights coming in uh, over here. Then we can pop you in, pop you in, so that is set. And shortly we will begin turning into runway heading. Now Navigraph and X-Plane do always have a discrepancy of one degree. So in X-Plane, which we should follow, because that's the world we are in, it is 202. But according to Navigraph, it is 203. So actually we will adjust it and abide to X-Plane. That's 5,000 feet. Set local Q and H set and let's just have a listen. Echo Sierra Golf Golf Airport information. Mike one seven five zero Zulu weather wind two five five at eight visibility one zero thousand sky condition few clouds at three thousand four hundred temperature one five two point eight Q and H one zero one one advise on initial contact you have information Mike checked okay flaps one speed check. Nice view. Hey. Look at all that traffic sitting there and just driving around stealing FPS. Coming through, please prepare the capping for landing and be seated. Perhaps five. 
USB checked. Cabin is secure. And North Shuttle. What the heck are I? North Shuttle 4083. Clear to land, runway 21. So we'll pop this on. On with you. On with you. Set. We're still nice and early. Landing checklist. Start with this continuous. Speed brake is armed. Landing gear is still up. Thousand to go. Flaps is five green light. Now we will go landing it down and flap 15. Get the. I don't know why it hasn't begun. It has to capture it properly. Quite a bit of wind here in the lower layers, so uh, we are quite skewed. But uh, looking good. Mind the weather down there. the approach. Set our first approach altitude. I think the wind is uh, tossing us around just a little bit here. So we are closing in on uh, say 6 like this. Get flap 30 down. Nice and early. Keep the speed up for now. Because it's too wind. I see two reds, two whites. And the wind should be... Should be coming down now as we get closer. So we'll keep the speed up. Although we are burning a bit of bit more fuel here in this approach than I assume that is planned. Uh, we'll keep the speed uh, until we are around 500 or around the minimums. Airport lights and the apron. Yeah, well, you can forget it right now. Disengage. One thousand. Thousand feet stabilized, Mr. Perch altitude set. Land weather tower, North Shuttle uh, 4088, uh, stabilized on ILS approach for one way two one. Approaching two one. North Shuttle um, 4083, land weather tower, wind 2633, eight knots, runway two one, clear to land. 
Glitzerland, North Shuttle 4088. It's about the worst time you could get. Uh, Bit low, bit low. Correcting. Four hundred. Three hundred. Bit of tricky wind here, actually. Minimums. Two hundred. Light slow. Light slow. One hundred. We're good. We're good. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. up. That's reverse manual braking. And we'll take this here exit here. Oop. Multitasking and driving, don't do that. Taxi stand uh, one three via Yangen Hotel North Shuttle uh, four zero eight three. Oh, let's concentrate on some cleanup duties here. And turn on speed just a wee bit. like a maniac doing all of this, so pardon me for that. If we had just waited, I don't know, 15 minutes, it would have been so much better, we had much better AHC, so but that's, that's just our luck. Get hotel and stand one three. Was it? Yeah. So that's basically straight in, more or less. And I bet you it's on top of one of those um, static aircrafts. So here's hotel. I don't even know if I want to see the landing rate on this. Uh Ooh, this landing. Let's blame it on the late HCC, eh? And I had completely forgotten my uh, flight number since I didn't use it, so we barked that up as well. Oh, actually, a stand 13 is empty. Perfect and sluggish. We can turn off our this one. Let's pop you on. And now for the most important thing, which is getting on the center line. There should be a center line rate indicator, parking rate indicator. Let's 
give it a boost to you. I will blow some leaves off the apron as well. Uh, it's not looking too bad, I think. If we can keep it like this, I think we would get a good rate here. Go. Parking bike set on the ABU. Let's shut the engine down, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Jürgen Boyk. Just get the ground power on a sap. No real need for the APU actually. And I will keep you on for commercial reasons. And let's do the final cleanup here. Get some lights on. All pumps are off. And we can turn the APU off. this up and lights are perfect and we can get you down here there we go and we have no radars on and we can go to standby and here we are in Jürgenborg. So thank you very much for flying with me on this short flight. A uh, bit fun approach with the, with the late ATC, but we actually managed to contact him. I actually think that he wouldn't have minded at all and it would have been totally understanding if we had not tuned him in and contacted him, but we did nonetheless. What I would like to do before I sign off from this video is to check the, one of the geeky things which is the landing rate and what I will also do which is even more geekier than the landing rate is um, this one here <laughs> my favorite gadget and we would need fuel so we would need the refueling truck and we would need him and we could say drive up and we would of course open our doors to come up up there we go. So let's see what Project Fly has in store for us. Ooh, you didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. So that's what happens when you get distracted. But I think it's uh, 600 feet per minute uh, is um, the limit we can take. So um, yeah, yeah. It was a very firm landing. Let's uh, let's just say that. I ride at stand, that's the most important thing and the best landing is the one that uh, you can walk away from and as you can see here I have some work to do but it is, uh, it is actually quite different to land in VR, you have a different perspective of things so it does take some, some practicing, you, you need to practice to float more basically and I'm a very bad floater, I, I really just like to pop him down there um, before we get some warnings or anything so yeah it's not something i'm proud of but it's what happens and it is not important most important thing is that we got down and that we had a good and pleasant flight and here we are sitting in jordenboik and let's just check if that sim is up and running again nope not working um yeah so with this uh, picture here, I think I will be uh, signing off. Yes, I will complete the slide. Well, here we are. And we can pop you off. So 
thank you very much for watching and again please do subscribe and like the video uh, if anything it really helps me build the, chan the channel and uh, the main goal of the channel is just having fun and learning things along the way and uh, expanding our horizons especially into VR uh, flight simming and perhaps inspiring people to join the community so um, I wish you a pleasant evening and thank you very much for watching